firstly, um, just want to congratulate Argentina. Um, it's a, you know, it's a well-earned win from them. They uh, they showed their their win against Aussie last, you know, by 30 points the other day wasn't a wasn't a fluke, and that they're actually a a much improved team and, and playing with a lot of confidence and. Um, and so as much as it hurts, I, I want to congratulate them on, on what they achieved. Um, for us, uh, as you can imagine, there's a, there's a shed full of people that are hurting right now. Um, we're, we're working hard on making some, making some moves in our game. It's, it's things are hard work at the moment. I, I, I thought that uh, at half time, you know, we'd, we'd got some really good set piece dominance. We, we kept them in the game. I thought through some pretty average discipline on the offside line. Um, probably been over eager and gave them four penalties into that space. The second half, uh, again, I thought we got into a good lead. Um, gave them a you know a, a try through that kickoff, which was a bit of a momentum swinger. And then we ended up trying to overplay our hand really and got a little bit frustrated against them. Our set piece didn't quite work the way we wanted in the latter part and and we probably forgot to, to play a kicking game. So uh, tough learning curve for this group at the moment and but the end result is that we didn't get what we wanted and Argentina did so good on them. Yeah, just a little bit of, um, probably just a bit of frustration, I think. And uh, they are a team that they, they do frustrate you and they have that ability. They um, we, we were really struggling to get a speed of ball against them. Um, I think from my perspective, extremely frustrated with tacklers getting out of the road and giving them access and, and, and them sort of not releasing the ball carrier on the ground. That's an area we're going to have to look at closely because we it was an area we got hammered in, in the penalty breakdown at critical times and uh, probably a little bit bemused by some of that. How disheartening is that performance after all the noise and the speculation of the last few weeks having been you know, confirmed through the World Cup? How disheartening is a performance like that? Oh, I think it's a. Uh, we don't like losing, and, and we understand our country don't like us losing, and um, and I, I guess we're all in the same boat in, in that place. It does hurt, but the reality is, is that we're, like I said, you, you know, the last few weeks is that we're still a team that's rebuilding, and and it's sometimes that the confidence doesn't come to the, the speed that we want it to, um, and but again, we just got to we got to go out there and suck that one up really and say okay well our own frustration I think meant that we just lost a bit of direction in that last quarter and we've got to be better than that. Yeah for sure it was um, first like, conversation with the ref like we, we were getting penalised and like majority of them were we're offside, um, so that's extremely controllable. That's that's an our, that's on us. Um, and then yeah, it was about tr just trying to trying to minimise that as much as possible. But um, yeah, sometimes easier said than done. I mean, se second half, I think we sorted out the offsides, but we managed to give them away in other areas. Ian, was the change forty-five minutes of the front row pre-season? Nah, the a couple of soft tissue tightenings in our props, which meant there was more of a, an early sub based on, on bodies more than anything. Uh, yep, and played really well. And and again, I'll, I'll go with that similar answer to that last one, so... Um, hmm. No, that's something I think we're like mentally prepared for. Um, we know that's how they play. That they play on a, a lot of passion and emotion. Um, like the important thing is to try and stay on our task um, and, and worry about our stuff. Uh, but yeah, they certainly um, yeah, they don't mind showing it. You 
Mm -hmm. and, um, and your answer before that the team the confidence is as quickly as you'd like. Um, why do you think the team is lacking confidence? Well, it's not it's not lacking confidence in a in a in a large range of areas, and I think we'd probably agree there's some areas there that, for spells of our game, that, that we really, really played really really well. And but, it's it's I guess it's the it's that little bit of um, belief about how to play your way out of, out of tough situations, and, and 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 I guess how to problem solve. And I think you know last in South Africa we saw a little bit of that. Starting to creep into our game, which was really positive. We started to problem solve certain situations really, really well. Today, we we probably got stuck in one mode, particularly in that last 10, 15 minutes, and and that's the learning curve that we've got to get through. That, that there are a lot of good teams out there that are going to try and slow us down and, and suffocate us, and it's how we break through that. And you know, again, it was a game like at half time. I, you know, I felt that we were. We'd done a lot of good stuff in that first half, and but as the game wore on, and, and I guess the scoreboard pressure came on again, we got a little bit one-dimensional in how we played. So that's what we've got to grow and and, and get rid of. In those closing stages, you had a couple of lineouts that were miscued and went away. How frustrated were you? Yeah, well, that's well, that's all part of it, Elliot. Like it's you tug a. It sometimes your strength becomes your weakness, doesn't it? And, and it, there's no doubt that our set piece was dominant in that game. But then the flip side of it is that we we, we let go three opportunities in that last 15 minutes set piece wise that that we'd normally expect to nail. And so that's pressure. And um, and again, you know, once you go through some of this pain, and and we and our job is to make sure that we learn. We learn quickly from it, but we actually take the team through that. But um, and, and then it's, it's executing in those big moments. That's what Test matches are about. Um, yeah, like Halu was a, a clear target of theirs uh, right from the outset to try sort of hold the ball carrier up, um, and, and with that. Can become a little bit of a grey area, you know. As soon as the knees touch the ground, um, players are supposed to be released, and um, that's up to interpretation a little bit. All the communication, um, I think that that played a part. Um, but at the end of the day, um, our our job as support players is to get in there early and, and eliminate threats from the opposition as quickly as possible. Um, I thought we did some some really some good ones. We made um, you know. It's an area we've been focusing on with, and, and nailed it sometimes, but um, yeah, a few times at costly times too, um, we didn't get it right. Yeah, it's sort of um, it's, it's what we've become, come to know um, with, the, with the Argentinian side. They, a very good defensive side. They they spread the field really well, um, and, and that's why if you're not punching holes and finding space, um, it can feel like you're sort of um, running into a brick wall at times. If you're not again, if we and if we're not kicking to, to shape the defence well enough, so um, yeah, they defended well. Now that's a good question, and and that's the one that I'm, you know, I guess we've probably got to join join the rest of the New Zealand rugby fraternity to say that's what we want to find, and and we're working hard to find that, and it's um, and really it's about um, just nailing the next moment. It's as, probably as simple as that, and and you know there's no doubt that it's a team been under a lot of pressure and trying to force things and trying to make things happen and I think we're fighting our way through that but then if you if you don't just be clear and, and nail the next moment at this level you can you can get caught and get frustrated and and that seems to be what, what a little bit happened today so you know I was a bit surprised with us in the last quarter to be honest I felt that the team had um, was, was really moving in a strong direction. There was enough good things happening on that park that, that for us to actually really 
to, to really go ahead and nail that Argentinian team, I think, with some of the things that were working well for us. And and yet we um, we didn't execute in some big moments at the end, and that's that's how you get the consistency at the end of a game. And um, tough lesson, and one that we're hurting with. Sam, Sam, like, have you seen enough from when you did have the ball in hand to, to think you could break them in that last quarter and, and, and get it deal? Yeah, look, we wanted to... Um, Played our strengths after the, the, the first half, and um, you know a lot of that was our set piece and in more areas that were going well. Um, but yeah, through a lot of our own unforced errors and, and the discipline, it was just hard to get a, a roll on or start to get any sort of momentum. And with that, any field position, um, and yeah, there was some sort of you would say uncharacteristic errors or ones that we hadn't made in the first sixty odd minutes, which. Um, yeah, frustrating. Because I think if you if you look at that, the the issues in the first half was, I mean, I thought the first quarter we, we were good. It was just more of our over eagerness on the offside. I thought the team reacted well and fixed that. It was in the second half the the major issue was that we didn't execute a couple of set pieces we wanted, and, and then it was more about the attacking breakdown. And so it was more about us putting them under pressure and and them and them getting rewarded at breakdown. And so that's an area, one, we're going to look at really, really closely to see exactly what the issues were because we were definitely getting frustrated with the role of the tackler in a non-release. And But we just got to look at that and say, well, how can we influence that better? So there were different things affecting us and we've got to expect that. Yeah. Well, I think it's a collective leadership. There's no doubt about that. And you know, we were, we certainly were seeing the team trying to problem solve in that space. And so, but yeah, again, it's a fair, fair point. And it's one in that last twenty that we've got to look at how we can be really, really smart and adapt to one what the ref is saying and two what the opposition are doing. I'm not losing patience. I'm certainly hurting. I mean, it's it's hard work when the, when the team is 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 not sort of at a hundred percent every week. But but I've also been there where it, when it is, and I know how much how much experience you need to get to that point, and how much hard work and, and how settled a team needs to be. And so there's no doubt that we're been through a um, quite a period. We're trying to get the team to that point as quickly as we can, and. And so, whilst it, it is frustrating, it's um, something that I guess we've just got to keep working hard on. Thank you. Guys. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.